Hi, my name is Bob Grunier and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. So a quick update for you on the remaking of Dr. Takaaki Matsumoto's Steps to the Discovery of Electronuclear Collapse. I have been learning over the last month or two how to work with latex so I can faithfully reproduce these scanned images that were in the one-to-one -one document so that they are all beautiful uh, for the print versions and for instance if you look in this version here you can see that the scanned version had really rather low quality bitmap images of the formula here and using latex and constructive tools in latex we now have this really fantastic resolution independent document which of course is smaller file size as well so it's really rather lovely but I want to show you something that struck me and this is in context of the work that was recently announced by two Israelis that I discussed on the um, formation of heavy elements in the Earth's crust rather than coming from the cosmos as is the theory from supernova and the like and of course this has been my theory for a while based on experiment however you can see that this document was submitted to the American Nuclear Society's fusion technology on August the 14th 1989 so to put that in context that's like five or so months after the announcement by Pons and Fleischmann and it is actually before the serendipitous accidental experiment that led Professor F Piantelli, Francesco Piantelli, to discover the nickel hydrogen system ultimately. Even before that, this work was submitted to fusion technology and uh, it was actually published December 1989. So this is frankly amazing but it's even more amazing when you look at the closing arguments here here's the references and you can see but basically all the way back then there was only the Fleischmann and Pons work and our Stephen E. Jones et al work of uh, muon catalyzed fusion there was a private communication here by the Frascati Nuclear Institute of the Italian Nuclear Energy Authority uh, by A. De Nino uh, et al However, what are they saying here? What is he saying in the last paragraph of this text? Absolutely blew me away. And I'll highlight it here. Look at this. If the extremely high concentrations of deutrons are obtained, 12C, 14 nitrogen, and 16 oxygen can be produced by a single reaction of many body fusions those isotopes are stable and important constituents of the Earth. The NATO model suggests some modifications in the theory for the birth of the Earth as well as the feasibility of the production of useful elements such as rare metals. Now he doesn't necessarily say heavy elements but he, he is saying we might need to consider this in relation to the constituent of isotopes, stable isotopes in the Earth, and modifications in the theory for the birth of the Earth. This is absolutely mind-blowing to me. This is the first paper presented by Dr. Takaaki Matsumoto to fusion technology, before even the nickel-hydrogen system had had the accidental experiment that led to its discovery just a few months less than half a year after Pons and Fleischmann's announcement and already this maverick scientist Dr. Takaaki Matsumoto was suggesting that indeed the way the earth was formed and the elements in the crust it needs to be reconsidered thank you very much for your time and I will see you in the next video